If I told you this was an NES controller, would you believe me? I mean, because it is. Of all things, it's apparently called the Cheetah. I mean, I guess this thing's called the Cheetah. Character is stick range something. This insane joystick is, as you can see, it's a xenomorph uh, representing Alien 3. Now this is made for the NES, and I love the design on this, but is it practical? I'm not sure. Now this is not mine. I'm borrowing this from my buddy Thor. Thor is Mr. Excitement, Mr. Personality, Mr. Everything. Ladies, man, all of the above. <laughs> He's our buddy. And he told me about this and showed me a photo of it. He's like, man, I gotta check that thing out. So he actually brought it for me to check out um, at the Midwest Gaming Classic. So I'm gonna check it out really quick and then I'm gonna send it back to him. So I'm not keeping this, um, but this is pretty interesting. I love checking out these crazy NES controllers. And something like this, so you have, if I can angle it just right. So these two buttons are the same, and then there's also a trigger button right underneath the jaw here of the uh, Xenomorph. And you can see it's kind of contoured a little bit. I try not to make it sexy or anything, but you know, just got the trigger there and you know, it gives you something you can hold on to. Interesting. I'm curious to check this out. It also features a turbo switch. You can turn on and off, a little loose there. And then of course your start and select buttons. And that's really about it. A couple of suction cups on the bottom. I'm going to put this through the test. I want to see if this thing works and I want to use this trigger because I'm not used to pulling triggers on NES games. I'm just used to the whole, you know, using a standard controller, right? So I have a humble stack of NES games. We're going to check out several games using something like this to see if it's, you know, like, yeah, it looks cool and everything it would look great on your shelf, but is it practical? I mean, I guess we're going to find out. It doesn't even tell you what button's what. So I guess we'll figure that out while we're here too. So, starting off with Batman for the NES. The screen's gonna be strict. I'm using my Super Retro 303 Plus, uh, but it does have an NES, uh, the uh, the seven pin adapter. Is it seven? I guess it's seven. We'll uh, see what happens here. Uh, start, there we go. Okay, let's go. Yeah, 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 all right. Okay, so the, the trigger, the trigger is jump. So your trigger is gonna be the A button. So this will be great for shooters. I mean, again, it works. Let's, oh, see. Ah! Yeah, this is... <laughs> I mean, and you can hold it like this. I suppose you could hold it like this. That would work, too. Whatever is whatever's easiest for you. This is not easier for me. I need, I need this. But then, unfortunately, when I do this, I want to... Yeah, see. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so much for that, huh? All right, I, I have the turbo switch set now, so... But if I want to shoot something at them, I have to use my start button to change the things. Oh, I don't have any. Uh, I don't have any um, things yet to switch. Yeah. Wow. Well, okay. Anyway, here's Batman. He's trying to use this, the amazing Alien Three Xenomorph controller. You could get used to it, I suppose. But why would you want to? popping something else. Now I just fixed this on a recent open cart surgery. All right. Now this, you don't really use the buttons, but to use a joystick or something instead of the D-pad might work out a little bit better. I don't have my suction cups placed, so I can't really jack on this thing. Wait, what? Ugh. I also don't want to break it. I feel like I'm going <laughs> to feel like I'm going to end up snapping it off. There is a there's a lot of wiggle room where it doesn't recognize anything, I don't think. Like this not going to tell about that, but you really have to you know, tell it where to go here. Like like if I go back, let me go back up to the uh, starting platform, which I cannot. Okay. Well, I'll try to find out on another in another thing. Eek. All right. Well, anyway, let's try another game. Got Abadox here, it's a nice shooter. And the trigger button isn't the shoot button. The button button is. So that's not gonna help me a whole lot in this game. I mean, the turbo button's gonna help, I guess. But I want, I want, the, uh, I want the A button, I want the A button to fire. That's not gonna do me any good. Tiger Heli might. All right. Uh, your trigger is your bomb, and then once again, your B button is your, uh... <laughs> uh... So you can push the button. I feel like I'm gonna break my index finger, keep on doing this. But your, yeah, your, your, your bomb is the trigger. So in a game like Deja Vu, it might be okay, because the A button is what you want to do here. 
I can open the pocket. I can take the things. I can open the door. And I wish I had a B button on the thumb. Like I wish like B button was here or something because like on a game like this, you use B to kind of cancel out of whatever you're doing. Um, you know, but you can do like simple commands. Oh, it's gonna have to force me to look in the mirror before I leave the room, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, deja vu, interesting. How about a game like Super Dodgeball? Let's see. Cause on this one you have to like double tap to run. And I don't wanna break it. There we go. And your A button is pass. <laughs> Again, not gonna do a whole lot of good for you. Come on, you. <laughs> so maybe not the best controller to use for something like this, but <laughs> yeah. Again, the, the trigger, the, the, the purpose is to use the trigger. And uh, the trigger on this one is just pass and pass. Yeah, you can use it to duck, I guess. <laughs> So all in all, it is a very cool controller. It looks super cool. It really does. I mean, it's just like, just the design, everything. And it just looks super cool to have like on your shelf. But man, it is, it is kind of chunky to, kind of chunky to use <laughs> in a situation like just trying to play some random, you know, just some, just trying to play some Nintendo games, you know, and it's hard to do some Nintendo games with this, Something like this, especially if there was a way that you could switch it. So it's like, you know, like here, like this is the, the, you know, this is one button, the buttons on the bottom are another button. I wish there's a way you could switch them. So it's like A and B or B and A, whatever the case is. Um, unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. Very cool. Thank you, Thor, for letting me check out this controller. Yeah, um, it, it, it looks cooler than it operates. How about that? <laughs>